Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 1.11. Evaluate numerical expressions. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to use order of operations to evaluate numerical expressions. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Today's lesson has one vocabulary word. That vocabulary word is order of operations. Order of operations tells you in what order you should evaluate your expression. You might have seen this before in the mnemonic saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which means we do the parentheses first. Parentheses look like this. Then if we have any exponents, like we've practiced, 10 to the second. Then we multiply or divide, and we know that whatever comes to the left happens first, and then we add or subtract, and the same rule applies, whatever comes to the left happens first. So if I see 10 times two minus five, then the first thing that I would do is I would multiply 10 times two. If I see the phrase 10 minus seven plus three, then in this case, I would divide, sorry, subtract 10 minus seven because it comes the farthest to the left. Please pause to write the vocabulary word and definition in your notebook. Let's go ahead and start with our unlock the problem. It says, a cake recipe calls for four cups of flour and two cups of sugar. To triple the recipe, how many cups of flour and sugar are needed? So we're going to need to evaluate four times three times four plus three times two in order to solve. So we're going to do this two different ways. One way is correct and one way is not correct. Heather is not correct. She did not follow the order of operations. Let's see what she did. First, she added. Okay, so she took four and three and added them together to get seven. But that's not correct because we're really multiplying three times four and three times two and then adding them in the middle. So if I add four plus three, then I'm gonna get a wrong answer. So she gets the answer 42, because then she multiplies three times seven times two, but that's not correct. So let's do it in the correct order and see what number we get instead. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to multiply. We wanna multiply three times four, because it comes first from left to right. So three times four gives me 12. And I'm gonna write multiply, because that's what we did. Now our next step is actually still going to be multiplying because we're gonna multiply three times two. I'm gonna do this in another color. Three times two is six. And in between them, we're going to add. Now that we only have two numbers, we know that we just need to add. 12 plus six is 18. We added. But look at the vastly different number we got. She got 42 and we got 18. Well, we know that 18 is correct. Why is Heather's answer not correct? Well, we said it was because she added instead of multiplying first. So she needs to multiply first. In fourth grade, we started with order of operations at the getting ready for fifth grade lessons. If you think back to those lessons, that will help you work on these lessons. Let's practice order of operations with a slightly longer numerical expression. It says, each batch of cookies that Lena makes uses three cups of flour, one cup of milk, and two cups of sugar. 
Lena wants to make five batches of cupcakes. How many cups of flour and sugar and milk will she need in all? So we know that she needs five cups of flour, one cup of milk, and two cups of sugar. So if we look at our first part of our numerical expression, we have three and one and two. And then she's going to make five batches, so we're multiplying times five. But in the end, it asks us just how many cups she needs in all. So the first thing that we want to do is add everything inside the parentheses. So three plus one plus two is six. And now we get to multiply five times six. Five times six gives us 30. So Lena is going to need 30 cups total of milk, flour, and sugar in all. Notice that we added everything first and then multiplied. And that's because it was inside the parentheses and parentheses tell us what to do first. All right, it's your turn now. You have two problems to solve for your lesson activity today. The first one is eight minus seven times one. So remember, we do what's in the parentheses first, and then exponents, then multiply or divide, then add or subtract. So in this case first, I would do seven times one because it's inside the parentheses, and then I would subtract. Question two says five minus two plus 12 divided by four. Well, we might just wanna start all the way at the left and see, oh, I see a subtraction, let's start there. I see an addition, let's start there. But we gotta make sure that dividing and multiplying come before addition and subtraction. So we wanna start with 12 divided by four. Write these down in your math notebook. Great job on today's flip lesson.